God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Good morning, St. Therese family. Good morning, Mr. DeVore. Happy Monday to all of you. Happy Monday to you. Oh, well, thank you so much. And happy eighth week of school. Ooh, eight weeks. Can't believe it. We are uh, we're making it. Making it through more than halfway through our first trimester. And uh, uh, approaching the, the quarter of our entire school year. And so we're excited to uh, gather back together after a very uh, exciting last week with our jogathon and a nice day of rest. So I hope everybody caught up on some sleep, maybe caught up on some studies after seeing progress reports. Um, but today's a fresh start, a new beginning. So let's make the most of our opportunities. Our SLE for this week uh, reminds us that we are called to be faith-filled servant leaders who uh, recognize and respect that God is in all people and things. So let's make sure that whoever we encounter, um, we see, look to see God in them. And if we're out for a walk or doing something, take a look around and see the beauty of God's creation. And remember that God is with us wherever we are. Uh, today we honor a group of saints um, from North America. Um, we name Saint Isaac Jog, um, but also other martyrs from North America. And so Saint Isaac, um, we hear a bit more of his story. Um, which there was many like him. Um, he felt called to join the Jesuit order of priests after receiving a great education in Orleans, France. Um, and this was in the late 1600s. And uh, going through his studies, he was hearing about uh, missionaries um, over in North America. Um, the French had claimed the land in uh, what is now Canada. And so that is mostly where these missionaries went. Um, so he uh, really felt called to go and, and um, meet um, the native residents of the area and try to spread the good news of Jesus. Um, and eventually he did so. Um, he didn't have the warmest welcome in his first round, um, but he truly uh, wanted to, to serve these folks. Um, and so he went back to France, uh, reconnected with his family, but just couldn't stay away. And so he returned to North America, but then on his second tour of uh, striving to be a missionary, uh, he became a martyr, giving up his life for his faith. The village with which he did spread the faith in small numbers, um, about 10 years after his death, would give birth um, to who is now Saint Katari Tekakwitha, the first Native American saint in our church. So uh, it's another reminder that uh, the seeds we plant and whatever it is we do um, in pursuit of God's kingdom um, can bear great fruit down the road. So let's do these small things with great love today, like Saint Isaac and the other missionaries. And uh, today we also begin a new sign of the cross, um, kind of the midway point of each month will transition. So really from here through Thanksgiving, we'll be saying the sign of the cross in Hawaiian. So if you're doing it for the first time, um, hopefully you can pick it up by the end of this week. We begin our day together. Kamakua, keiki, ohane, hamalele, amene. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless. All we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, I will do. By the grace of God. Amen. Kamakua. Keiki, Ohane, Hamalele, Amene. Maria, are you going to wake up and hold the flag for us this morning? Somebody's still recovering from the jogathon. So, with our flag held high and our right hands of our hearts, we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, 
with liberty and justice for all. Give our flag bearers out there a round of applause this morning. Maria is holding it with my assistance for clarity here. And as we begin our eighth week of school, uh, hope you're doing so without a four-year-old in your arms. And uh, we'll sing together as we start our week, lifting our voices as one community. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies Of liberty Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening star let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day we got. Let us march on till victory is won. Let us march on till victory is won. Amen. All right, St. Therese family, well, uh, we're going to continue to give you updates on the Jogathon this week. Good morning, Devin. We're at 86% of our fundraising goal. Um, we ran hundreds of miles last week. Um, the total as of this morning was $37,975. So we got uh, just over 6000 to go to fully reach our goal. So let's uh, continue to call those uh, neighbors and relatives. And if you haven't got started with fundraising, we have this whole week still um, to try to put your donation. One dollar, one million dollars, it's all appreciated. So let's go get those uh, last few funds. And remember, we can do all things. Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Have a blessed day.